Vlogmas Day 4. Okay, I've got Casey Neistat's vlog on my phone and I'm going to tan first thing in the morning. Um, so that I can leave it on for a couple of hours while I edit yesterday's vlog and then wash it off and wash my hair And then I should be done by about lunchtime. <laughs> so as I said, this is a San Chipre Express tan It says an hour for light, two hours for medium, three hours for dark. I always try to leave it somewhere between two and three um, It's a mousse, so I'm just gonna pump it onto this and apply it straight onto my body Maybe Rich can help me do my back. He's working from home today Before I sit in my underwear for hours on end, editing pretty much naked, I am going to open my advent calendars really quickly. Sorry, Rich, I'm kind of in your way. I'll be done in a sec. What day is it today? Fourth? Yeah. Definitely? Yeah. I love you. Oh, that would be your fault. Lime, basil, and mandarin, not my fave. But this one's unisex, Rich, if you want to try it. Try it. I, that's one of the only Jamie Lynn scents I don't really like. Try it on. <laughs> what do you think? Now, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlogmas and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. I'm just editing yesterday's vlogmas and I forgot to tell you guys that when I came out for my pedicure, sitting in a cafe part of Cowshed was Michael McIntyre. I love him. I should have got a photo. This is what happens when I have nothing in a day. I end up making a 20 minute long vlog and now it means I'm going to have to go through and re-edit the whole thing to try and get it down. Really frustrating. Thanks for taking the rubbish out, Rich. It's my job. It is your job. But it should be your job as well. No. We're in an equal relationship. Oh, now you want to throw the Feminist. equal... Oh, get out, get out. My legs are definitely starting to look more tanned. These blotchy bits should come off when I shower off the product. Oh my God, it's so sunny. Um, so I have showered off, I can't find anywhere where it isn't sunny. I've showered off my tan. Oh God, I look horrendous, but my body feels nicely tanned. It does kind of get darker throughout the day. And I also just moisturized my um, elbows and knees and stuff with this Origins Comfort Mood Ultra Rich Vanilla, Vanilla Body Butter, which is really nice. Rich is now making a bit of lunch. We've got loads of food that's about to go off, so we're just kind of cooking it so it doesn't go off over the weekend. My vlog is uploading over here. And while my hair dries, I think I'm gonna paint my nails um, ready for the weekend. Okay, I think because my toes are dark, I'm gonna go with this Nail Zinc Alice and Olivia polish, which is in Midnight Merlot. And then maybe on one of the fingers, I might use this snow globe um, from Nails Inc. It's like a gold glitter. You shake it up. Jesus. Shake it up. And then you can put like as much or as little as you want on. It's very pretty. My first festive nails of the season. thoroughly enjoying this Lisa Eldridge makeup tutorial with Alexa Chung. I bloody love Alexa Chung. I've put on the gold top coat and it was actually a little more sheer than I thought. It was quite hard to get the glitter up so I decided to put on all the nails because it's quite subtle and I love this look. I love a bit of gold glitter. This is what I'm having for lunch. Fish and vegetables. Yes. I will have a photo and see what it looks like. You want to have a photo of the Polaroid? Yeah. My sister and brother-in-law and nephew popped by quickly, as you probably just saw, and I've straightened my hair. I need to put on some makeup, although I'm not going to put much on because I'm just going to the cinema and to my parents' house for dinner tonight. I'm just doing some emails and work now. Um, so far has not been a very productive day, and it's already three o'clock. Okay, I'm going to put on some makeup, and I thought I would just film it because I haven't really filmed much today. And as I said, I'm not going to put much makeup on because I'm just going to the cinema and to my parents. Enough makeup so I want to leave the house, but I'm kind of just doing it because I enjoy doing makeup. I'm going to put on, this is new for me, the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It is so nice. It's a really nice glowy 
primer. Maybe that's a little bit too much. But I just like to put that all over the skin. It smells really fresh and like slightly lemony. I'm gonna put on a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. Just gotta shake it up. Just gonna apply a little bit with my hands just where I need it. I don't want like a heavy foundation. I'm like really running out of this foundation. I've used it quite a lot this year. Okay, then I'm just gonna go over a few little parts of my face with a concealer, just the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I'm gonna put that under my eyes. Around my nose, around my nose, and on my chin. I'm gonna put on a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna fill in my brows a little bit. A little bit of blusher. I'm gonna use an H&M cream eyeshadow. Just really lightly put that all over the eye. It just creates a little bit of shadow, not like a proper eyeshadow. So you can kind of hardly see that at all. And then I'm just gonna put on mascara and leave it there. Mm. Oh, I've got slippery hands. Okay, makeup done. Before I go to my parents, I thought I would quickly do a little kind of mini camera review because as you guys may have noticed i got a new vlogging camera it's the canon g7x that's what i'm vlogging on now and a lot of people have asked me what i think of it and to tell you my thoughts i have no idea really about the spec of this camera apart from what it says here on the lens um and i can't really be bothered to like research into the difference in terms of like the spec of the camera so i'm just going to tell you from uh, my point of view just from using it how I think it's different to the S120. This is the S120, which is what I was using before. A lot of YouTubers updated to the G7X way before I did, and I didn't want to because it's a lot bigger in terms of how big the camera is. I really like the S120 because it's so small, and if you're just getting into vlogging, I would definitely recommend this one. It's so much easier to carry around, to slip into your pocket, to your handbag. I think this is such a good camera. The reason I moved onto the G7X is because the quality is a little bit better, and also there is a flip screen, so I can see myself in the screen above, which is a bit annoying as a viewer, because I know that sometimes, like now, I look up at myself, and I find that, as a viewer, really annoying but it's really good to check I'm in focus, to see what's in shot so I don't cut off my head or anything like that. The screen is really handy and I think that's what makes the camera bulkier as well. I also find you can make it brighter or darker using the turny thing. I mean, there's so many things you can do that I haven't really even experimented yet. Something I have noticed with the G7X is the focus. Although you can focus very quickly by just pressing down on the shutter halfway, it doesn't automatically focus as quick. So if I were to now grab the camera, turn it around and film my makeup brushes here, it then wouldn't be in focus. It would take a, quite a few seconds to focus and a few people have pointed that out and that is a bit annoying. I feel like the S120 focused a lot quicker, but I do think the quality of this one is better and when I'm doing like close-up shots or I wanna play around with the focus a bit, then I feel like I can be a bit more experimental. I mean, I'm not that fussy when it comes to vlogging cameras because I do think the content is more important than the quality of camera. I feel like you can make it as good by how you use it and what you're filming and the angles and the lighting, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's a bit annoying how big it is. I'm still kind of getting used to it. So if you don't want to spend more money, definitely get this one. This one is great. Just because it doesn't have the flip up screen, you get used to knowing like where you need to put the camera so you can see yourself. And I'm definitely not getting rid of this one because I think if this one were ever to break or anything or I'd lose it, this is just as good. I wouldn't feel like I'm using a backup camera. So happy I got it because I always like to update my equipment. But I don't think the quality is massively different. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like the new camera, what you think. So I'm going to go get dressed now. So I just had the camera on this tripod thing while I was filming. These are called Gorilla Pods. They're really handy, by the way. I just don't know how else to dress in this weather other than Ugg boots, leggings. 500 million layers and like a big cozy cardigan. It's all I want to wear like every day. So I'm gonna head over to my parents now. I'm excited to see the film and just like get cozy in a cinema. I wonder if they do hot drinks. I'd love a cup of tea. Rich had it on Radio 1. Silly Rich doesn't know about smooth Christmas radio. You like this? Hey. Hello Gino, puppy. Hello. Whenever we greet her, she just gets on her back. Yeah. It's like, stroke me. Hi. My mum's made crumble for dessert, which I'm very excited about. Yours looks so much neater than mine. I never make enough topping. What's in it? Apple and blackberry. Yum. And... Chicken tagine. Chicken tagine. Oh, with that couscous. Yum. 
my god. We're at the cinema and the film is called Christmas with the Coopers. It sounds like it's gonna be proper cheesy. A good old rubbish Christmas film. We're the only people in the cinema. It might just be because we're early or it might be because this film is really, really bad. We will see. Okay, we've just come out of the film. It was really cheesy. Not amazing, but nice feel good. I cried. I always cry when people cry in films and there were these annoying teenage girls behind us um, that were just talking and scrumpling their popcorn the whole way through. And I know I was that teenage girl once, but it still annoys me. I try really hard not to get annoyed by it, but. Oh, look, I look quite tanned. I look quite olivey, don't I? Hmm. This little contraption is what I use to get my footage onto my computer because this MacBook Air doesn't have a slot for memory cards so I use this and it's just decided to break so I can't edit today's video until I get a new one of these which is a bit frustrating because I'm going to Cambridge tomorrow for a wedding but I've ordered one on Amazon Prime and hopefully it will come soon. This is our dinner. I don't really know what it is, but it smells good. I think it's chicken and couscous and stuff. This is Juno's mad hour when she goes a little bit crazy and gets a little bit naughty. Juno? Juno. I'm gonna get myself some, is it all cooked? dad's now we had a really nice dinner and Joe Sugg and Casper Lee are on Chatty Man tonight but we're kind of like driving and I'm hoping that they won't be on until we get home because I really want to watch and like support team internet I'm stressing a little bit about what dress to wear to the wedding tomorrow I suddenly feel like none of my dresses are right and I wish I got a long dress so I could wear flats reading all your comments in yesterday's vlog is like stressing me out a bit about the dress and I just don't feel like I look pretty particularly pretty or cool in any of the dresses I have and the needle and thread one, as much as I love it, it's something to do with the way it's sewn together. I can't really lift my arms up in it and that's stressing me out as well because I spent loads of money on it and now I'm worried I can't wear it to my friend's wedding so that I can't dance properly. Does anyone else just, when it gets to evening time, I get really anxious and stressy about the stupidest little things. Does anyone else get that? Anyway, I'm gonna head home now and probably try on my dresses again. Look, Joe and Casper are on Chatty Man. Woo, go Joe, go Casper. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I haven't really got anything else to say and I want to, I need to edit this vlog, I haven't even started because that thing broke so I'm going to sit in bed while Rich is snoozing away editing this vlog because tomorrow is wedding number one so although this vlog may have been a little bit boring tomorrow we are heading to Cambridge for a really good friend's wedding and I'm excited we're going to like road trip up with a couple of uni friends and I haven't been to a wedding in a little while, is that a lie? Yeah, I think that's the truth, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. Rich have you got a thought of the day? How fluffy your hair looks. Isn't it fluffy? That <laughs> um, product in it today. <laughs> any thoughts of the day? You don't have to force it. Just anything that no, you've I, thought I, I've of. I've been dwelling on this one. <laughs> We've actually been thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. So, I this one annoys me a lot. It's not really a thought. It's a pet hate. No, yeah. it's not a pet hate. What is it? It's like an annoying thing. Suits. Why do you have to wear a suit to work? We live in the 21st century now. Why? And I get, when I go to work, because I go to work in like, casualish but still smart and I get and I've been laughed at in the lift at a certain business district in London why because you weren't wearing a suit yeah and the, all the suits were rich the thought of the day is why do you have to wear suits to work and get laughed at and get laughed at if yeah, you're not you wearing one doesn't make you a better worker does it same as wearing heels to weddings <laughs> we're on the same wavelength here uh, my highlight of the day oh I don't even know if I have one do you know I like my highlight is saying Juno. I can see them okay, Rich is gonna. I don't really know if I have a highlight today, so Rich's highlight of the day is seeing Juno. Oh, I went to lean on you and you bent down. Bye. I looked at the screen, I didn't mean to. I'm looking no. at the screen too. Look, this, could be, this could be the thumbnail. Wait. No, can you make a nice face? Face? Look at the camera. 
I'm looking at the camera. Or the screen. Alright, night guys.